Hello there everybody, it is me Fizzer Bunny and welcome back to part 2 of The Sims 3 House Building the Chateau de Chenonceau in real time, okay guys? So this is what we have been able to accomplish in the previous part and it might not look like it's much but as I've told you guys that we did get ourselves like a really good start and get started on some really really good foundation. I did somehow overlook the fact that apparently the chateau had five archways and um so we might have to do something about that and we're just gonna go ahead and do some minor adjustments before adding in some walls and of course the archways that are super super elegant that cross all the way through the river but once again i'm gonna be spending a lot of time switching in and out of the game and to google uh, just to look at some reference images if you guys are just watching this now I uh, highly recommend that you guys watch the first part so that you guys can understand what I'm talking about but anyway back to the chateau itself I want to add an additional uh, area over here so we're just gonna go ahead and move most of this over here uh, and actually I turned on the constraint floor elevation so let me let me make sure that I turn that off first I mean yeah switch that on I mean okay so this area is gonna have I think um yeah let's have it let's give that like a a two a two tile archway I think would be great um and I did if you guys remember me saying in the last part that I kind of wanted to have like some space over here for the water to flow I just pretty much decided to um, make it all the way through, I guess, and make it into, like, a legit bridge that connects this side of the lagoon to this side. So, so yeah, by the way, it is, like, way, way past midnight. So, once again, if I'm all over the place, I apologize in advance. Uh, but you guys know that, um, I really, really wanted to record this part for you guys, so I, 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 I am ready to upload two parts, uh, to give you guys a little bit of, of an idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here uh, so that when you guys actually comment I know exactly uh, you guys would have a good idea of what I want to have or, or like what I want to happen I guess anyway once again freaking all over the place here with my freaking commentary because it is freaking past midnight but I really wanted to get this thing over and done with or like as much as I can pretty much so I can start shooting all the screenshots and stuff so the thumbnails would actually look like something because right now we don't have that much <laughs> and we spent so much time in the last part actually trying to figure out like the layout and stuff so anyway i think it, it'll be great it'll be mint okay so let's just finish off these um th these piers over here uh, i don't know why it's not working like that oh come on why isn't it working uh hmm Okay, there we go. Freaking all over the place. I'm really, really sleepy, but hopefully my mind can still cope with a couple more minutes of construction uh, so that I'll have something to upload tomorrow morning once the videos are done processing. And by the way, while the other, the, while the first one was rendering, I was actually able to watch um, a documentary on YouTube that was called... Uh, the Loire from above or something or like the world from above and it had like an episode like that showcased mostly the Loire Valley and all the different chateaus and it had like some really interesting scenes of the Chateau de Chenonceau and apparently I was correct in assuming that this was in fact the most visited chateau in the Loire and it's also uh let's see what else I don't know it's just a really really cool ch chateau I want to make sure that I actually have some space over here so that we can actually place in some stairs later on if we need to uh, yeah I have enough space okay awesome 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 so I can probably place in a piece of foundation and then a staircase over here let's make sure I can do that actually let's look at whether it's gonna let me do it oopsie no not that right I always get confused with like the, the diagonal foundation and just the normal straight ones and I hope it's gonna let me play some stairs I really really hope so is it not gonna let me place oh I don't think it is I don't think we have enough space I might have to place it on the sides or I might have to place I, I might not have to place it I don't know we'll figure it out as we go 
of course actually let me get rid of that one piece of guide over here so that we can start constructing our bridge and i want to make sure that i can actually place a staircase over here I can't? Uh-oh, this might not be good, you guys. Okay, it doesn't look like I can, actually. I feel like we don't have that much space. Yeah, it's it's out of bounds. Oh, crap. Holy crap. What are we going to do? We don't have that much space. Okay, you know what? I think I might have to make that four tiles or something. I don't know. Actually, let's just take one tile out and then... um see if we can still fit in i think the other thing can still fit so like the tower that we have this is like okay it can fit now so that's really cool awesome 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 and then um let's actually make sure that we you that we plot in our tower over here so that we just don't forget about it because yeah that is also an important part of the chateau itself so uh where is the space okay Hey, actually, um, I'll just place it here like that. Um, three by five, I believe it was. Oh my God. Okay. Like that. And then for some reason it looks rectangular or something, probably because of my resolution. Uh, so yeah, actually let's keep it like that for now. And then, uh, I feel like I want to make this bridge a little bit longer. Um, okay, so let's actually decrease the size of this. Oopsie. Clicked on the wrong button. Oh my gosh, we are in creative style, which is another feature of The Sims 3 that did not make it to The Sims 4, unfortunately. So really, really sad to not have creative style in The Sims 4. I always complain about it. Takes forever to load though in The Sims 3. And apparently, according to one of the Sims producers of The Sims 4, Creative Style is one of the factors that makes the game slower. Apparently, I don't know why, but they did say that it made the game slower. So um the thing is the Sims 4 performs really, really well. I will give it that on my computer. It performs really, really well. Uh so I guess, you know, it wasn't all for nothing, I guess. You know, they were able to give us a well-performing game, even though we had to sacrifice like some some features. But actually, let's just plop in, uh, if I remember correctly, this little turret area over here. Uh, and I think this is how we did it, like, yeah, in the last part, so. I can hear my voice cracking, actually. Uh, I had dinner with my friend. That's why I was only able to record really, really late already, so I had... Yeah, I had to eat with my friends and stuff like that, so. Anyway, let's see here. What else should I talk about? Yes, this is always the problem with my commentary. I do not know what to talk about with you guys. Hmm. Okay, so, uh... So, school just started. Uh, Tuesday was my first class. So, I only have class on... I don't know if I should be telling you guys this, but I only have class on Tuesdays through thursdays and the rest of the week i'm free uh, but usually tuesdays to thursdays i'm really really busy i have so much stuff to do i have class for almost the whole entire day so i don't think I'm, i'll be able to record as much as i would want to uh so yeah anyway let's actually type in the move objects off i mean control constrained floor elevations off and did i call that that move objects i don't know uh, so that we can actually get rid of this kind of earth foundation that we have over here. And you can see that the structure itself is already floating. Actually, you know what? I made kind of a bit of a mistake over there. Uh, because I actually want to do this in halves. Because you can see that it, it increases the level of the area. So the only thing that we can do to remedy that is actually go ahead and grab this leveling tool and just pass it through the elevated sections of our situation and then we're just gonna do that with everything like i said it is a, it is gonna involve a lot of complicated building techniques uh, so if you guys find it a little bit difficult to follow or stuff like that, please don't hesitate to comment. And, you know, if you guys want want me to do some tutorials on, like, specific 
you know, building cheats and stuff, I will definitely be super, super happy to do so. Just tell me so that I know. Uh, cause yeah, I want to focus more on the building aspect, I guess, for this, for this one, for this project, as opposed to just, you know, focus on the tutorial. So if I'm not explaining, like, all these different commands properly, uh, I'm, that's kind of my intention, you know, I want to focus on just the construction. Cause I'm already thinking a lot about, you know, all the decisions that I have to make and stuff like that, so... I don't want to have to add like an extra dimension and make this a tutorial video even though you guys can see that it's it's not so hard actually i did use the constraint floor elevation and it's 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 relatively easy to use actually we need to um stretch this piece of land over here so that i would connect to our foundation thing I like that actually yeah and then let's just make sure that it is uh let's see here just the right amount of earth. Okay, I think this would be okay. Actually, no. Okay, we are going to lessen it as much as possible. Oopsie, I keep... Yeah. <laughs> you guys get what I mean anyway. Okay, let's do it like this, I guess. Okay, that did not even do anything. I think it's okay. Uh, like that. Okay, awesome. I'm assuming it did what I wanted it to do, and then let's just get rid of these extra pieces of earth over here on the side as well. Eventually, I'm going to smooth that so it looks a little bit more organic and stuff like that. But just for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that and just flatten this piece over here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I totally forgot to make this. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot to like make this into um, an actual foundation. Oopsie. I might have to... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plop in some walls over here so that I can see which one is the foundation and which ones aren't. Uh, so let's just do that. And then I feel like I might have to extend... Um, or I don't... I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I might... I have to extend the earthy parts. <laughs> Once again, I, I'm, I'm su being super careless here, you guys, but whatever it's it's a step-by-step -step process as well uh, hopefully I just you know right now I want to make it up until probably like the I'm not sure maybe until the point where we begin painting or something that would be a good place to wrap up the second part because uh, I want to have something you know that's relatively um, comprehensive <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like freaking all over the place. Okay, so let's just do that. Um, and then, okay. It's, 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 it's allowing me to do it, so that's really cool. Awesome, and then let's just flatten the whole thing. Bring everything up. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this one for now. Like that. And then also get rid of that piece over there, because it's going to bother me. Oopsie. I can extend that like that. And then this one, we can extend it uh, maybe up till there. Okay, cool beans. And then, okay, we are going to... Yeah, every time I sound like I'm at a loss for words, um, that means that I'm thinking really, really hard about the, like, the construction itself. So you guys might probably notice that there are times when I'm literally like, there's nothing to say. And that is because I'm thinking a lot about like the, the building itself, not necessarily the commentary. Okay, that's really cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then I actually want to um, get rid of this essential area because let's go ahead and stop by Google. I want to show you guys something. You guys can see that there's like a an archway over here. Unfortunately, we only have like a two a two by two space, so we can have like this size archway. Uh, and I'm going to include that as well. And I'm just going to get rid of this, actually. Oopsie, why doesn't... Okay, ooh, what is happening? Okay, cr we have some crazy stuff going on. But it's okay. It can be remedied by doing this. Constraint floor, constraint floor elevation, CFC, as a lot of people would call it. And then let's put in another extra level over here, I think. Is that correct? I'm not sure. 
Okay, I think, um, okay, yeah, just do it like that. Awesome, and then, okay, I believe it is time to get started with the archways, uh, which is probably the most complicated slash crucial part of this build, and actually what I'm going to do for now is individually mark up these areas over here, like that. And then these are going to be like the insides of the archways. So you guys will understand later on anyway. And then these piers as well also need to be uh, set as individually. I feel like it's going to be a little bit tall. Uh, I might have to lessen the height of this level or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, let's actually just place in these walls. I wish, there, I wish I can put like some background music or something, but I'm a little bit scared that I'll be copyrighted. So you guys are going to have to bear with my commentary. Uh, yes, it just turned 1 a.m. How awesome is that? You guys cannot see my clock now. Um, back then when I used to start doing these real-time house builds, I used to include literally my entire desktop and you guys can see the time. And I would I would record, I would have so much fun building with you guys that I would record like as late as 4 freaking a.m. It was kind of insane, but yeah. <laughs> That's just my life, you know. I, I don't have anything better to do anyway, like... I don't know, my life is freaking boring. Like, I have, like, the lamest life ever. I, like, I, I wish I had a better existence, but this is the best I can possibly, like, make. Like, you know, it's... I record YouTube videos <laughs> in my free time. How awesome could that be? Uh, <laughs> I love how, like, there's so many, like, self-deprecating jokes that I use all the time. But, okay, anyway... Let's go ahead. I just uploaded, uh, just to get, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea on when I'm recording this. I just finished uploading the final part of my house build series on the Goldenberg Emporium. So today is a Friday, actually. It's a Friday here in the Philippines, probably Thursday to you guys, but probably this is going to go up on a Saturday or Friday for you guys in the States or something. I don't know. I could never be sure because I literally have the worst sense of time in the whole entire world. So, I'm not even gonna try, but yes. Let's go ahead and finish off this area over here like that. And then I actually think, okay, what are we gonna do? Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and make this thing into like a kind of foundation thing as well and but like i told you guys i feel like this level might be a little too high i'm not sure is it is it too high yeah i feel like it might be too high so what i'm actually gonna do here is i'm gonna decrease it by one uh by one like um staircase level if you guys get what i mean okay let's just grab a staircase so that you guys can actually see what i'm trying to talk about okay let's one click and that is all I'm going to do. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. This is just how much I'm going to reduce the height. I feel like it's a little bit better. Uh, once again, really, really complicated stuff here. But it's not like it's difficult to follow. You know, I'm still, you know, I'm, o I'm only using the constraint floor elevation sheet. But other than that, it is just, you know, pretty much interactions that a lot of us are already familiar with anyway so yep these are gonna form the piers and then these are gonna form like the archways i want to see like okay awesome so archways okay awesome and then let's see here okay there's gonna be like a staircase over here that leads to the downward area uh but now we need to work on these archways uh Okay, so bear in mind that my constraint floor elevation sheet is still turned on, and then I am actually going to go ahead and, uh, and you guys might have to visualize th visualize this a little bit because I am working underwater, <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do like three clicks. I guess three clicks would be great. Okay, one, two, three, and then try to um drag this two tiles across oopsie oh my gosh never mind okay like okay this is kind of gonna be a trial and error type of thing so we might have to figure it out two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's see how this works. Still not. It's bringing it down. We're getting like a downward arch. I think we might have to go to the water level. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I think um, this might begin to give us like an actual archway. Let's see here. Like that. Okay, it's beginning to look like a legit archway, which is awesome. Uh, I wish it would actually like clear some space in the middle. That'd be great. Okay, let's increase this by a couple more clicks. One, two, uh, three, four. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, awesome. Actually, yeah, I feel like that's a little bit too much already okay let's see if what we what's gonna happen if we flatten the whole thing and bring it all in um well it looks like a decent archway if i do say so myself um there's a couple of things that i forgot actually to incorporate so before we do that okay let's actually so this is 12 clicks right now i want to get started on the paint actually for this chateau because we need to be able to paint this bottom part of the bridge because it is going to be visible all throughout. Uh, so we need to do something about that. And then, um, so let's go ahead and drop by the chateau itself and see, okay, we have like some really rusticated looking um, paint, but it's it looks mostly like it's white stucco or something. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, or actually, it's it's bricks, surprisingly, okay? I didn't even notice that. From afar, it looks like it's stucco, but actually looking at it now, it is made up of bricks. So, and it's it's white bricks. Uh, okay, one that is one really helpful thing that you get when you are working off of a reference from online, from Google. It's that you can really see things in detail. So let's just go ahead and I think I'm going to choose uh, rock and stone. Actually, no, masonry would be great. And then is there like a simple... Okay, I think this is the simple foundation wall. Okay, nope. Or should we use the foundation wall? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just looking for the simple wall. If it comes in the masonry option, let's see here. What is this? Ooh, this is actually like, this would be really good. This came with, I believe, um, yeah, World Adventures. And I think it would work really well. I think so, I'm not sure. Actually, these ones, I, yeah, this one would be perfect. Looks awesome, looks really cool. Yep, it looks really cool. And it also comes in like, one that has like a grunge, oopsie, never mind, that's kind of weird. But yeah, it comes in one that has like all this grungy finish and stuff. I, I'm going to go for the, the all white one. Okay, look that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, it is beginning to look like a legit chateau. I'm so happy. Uh, should I even change the color? I'm not sure. Do you guys think I should change it or something? I don't know. Is it too white? Uh, I don't think it's too white, but... Um, I don't know, let's look at the context and see like all the other structures. I think it's it's fine. It's 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 very, very brilliant white. I feel like I might have to put like some dirt on it to make it look convincing or realistic. Actually let's look. No, it looks very, very similar to the chateau itself. So you know what? Let's not interfere with that. I think that looks really, really cool as it is. Um now I feel like you know what? It's worth the risk anyway. Let's see how it looks with a little bit of dirt. <laughs> a little bit of grunge didn't do anything, any, you know, didn't do anyone any harm, I guess. I don't know. <gasps> I'm having so much. Okay. Ooh. Mm, okay. So that's how what, what it does. Okay. Let's just increase this a little bit. It is a beautiful texture, actually. And, um, place it like here or something. I'm not sure. Okay. I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and use the original one. Well, it was worth the try, you guys. It's, you know, it's never, you know, 
it's kind of like asking questions. You know, the only bad question is the question that you do not ask. <laughs> I don't even know where I got that, but I feel like I got that from like a movie or something. Okay. And why is this level like brown or like gray? Like where did this floor come from? <laughs> when did it turn like that? I did not know. I did not even notice turning it turning that color, but anyway. Yes, we need to do the flooring. Uh, which is also kind of going to act as the ceiling for the archways. And I'm just going to go for the simple... Uh, where's the simple flooring? Okay, let's go to um, masonry and look for like a nice brick texture. Uh, let's see here. This one actually looks really nice. This came with uh, um, ambitions. Oh, let's see here. What else? What else? What other options do we have? Uh, this one is also really nice. Actually, that's quite nice. I'm not sure. I want something that has... Okay, actually, this one would be perfect. Looks really cool. Actually, what's underneath? Yep, it kind of matches. Uh, if it only would come in a white, that'd be great. Uh, let's see what would happen if we copied this color. Or like these materials over here. And it turned out like that. It's actually not a bad finish. I'm going to go ahead and copy this one as well. Just to give it some texture. Okay, that's actually not so bad. I'm going to go with that. Uh, and you guys will actually notice me use this uh, floor like all the time. It feel I feel like it's, it's a very practical floor. And it has some really, really good texture in it as well. So that's why I have so much... I have so much use for it. I use it all the time. And actually, if you press tab when you are in cre in Creative Worlds, you can actually like place ceilings properly, which is really cool. You can actually go into the corners and stuff like that, and you can really see what you're trying to do, which is another advantage of working in um, the Sims 4 Create uh, Creative Worlds. Cow. Call? I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let's just paint that white as well so it does not stick out like a freaking sore thumb. Okay. Whew. Finally getting, it's finally getting interesting, you guys. Okay, let's see here. Mm, okay, I might have to figure out like what to do with these areas over here, but for now, okay, let's make the whole entire thing black. So let's go to, um, what? A black texture do I use uh, usually? Mm, I think I use this one. Actually, no. I have like a, a black flooring that I always use all the time. And I believe it's probably... I don't know. I'm, I might have to look for it. Uh, it's probably like in the masonry area or the stone, if I remember correctly. Like I said, it's been forever since uh, I've built anything in The Sims 3. But I have a couple of textures. Okay, actually this one. Awesome, I found it. So yeah, like I said, I have a couple of textures that I have saved so that I don't have to create them all the time. So for the void areas, I usually like to use black so it doesn't distract from the main, you know, focal points. And I also have a matching black wall as well uh, to complement that void black area. I don't know, whatever. And then I think it was in the paint area, if I remember correctly. And I'm getting really, really parched, so let, well, yeah, let me just finish painting these walls and I'm just gonna grab some water really quickly. Uh, yeah, we are taking it slowly, you guys. I noticed that this build is taking quite a while to finish. Okay, but you guys can see that the black really did, um, help take away from, you know, or, or help draw all the attention to the outside, so. Okay, awesome. That is staying into the video, by the way. And then let's begin and see what we can do with these archways, actually. And I think that's... <laughs> okay, I feel like I might have to increase this by an extra one click. Click, and then... Okay, like that. Oopsie. Okay, this is super, super tricky, but we need to be... We need precision, precision here, you guys. Like... Each tile matters. Okay, and what we're gonna do is actually do this. It's gonna look really weird, but 
that this is how things are done. <laughs> you know, like I said, precision is key into this. Let's do that. And then it's actually really easy. It's it's all it's just all about copying what you did, which of course you guys know from watching my other videos, I do really well. <laughs> Be, you know, all the repetition and all the symmetry and all that stuff. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, and we were still able to keep some of the art, which is great. And I think, um, I think I'm, I'm really happy with that, actually. We have to wait. Right now, you guys can see that it's, like, all black. But we just have to wait a little bit. Uh, actually, if we do, if we copy this eyedropper one. And then, uh, um, choose another ceiling texture. I think it would automatically... Okay, there we go. Awesome. Yay. So you guys can see that, you know, it's probably not the most authentic looking, but it looks very, very similar to the actual Chateau itself, which is awesome. It's awesome for me. So, so yeah. Anyway, we need to do something about these archways as well. And I don't have any freaking idea what to do with these 2x2 two two ones. Just because they don't have, like, that much space to them. Like, they literally do not have that much space. Okay, I think I'm just going to go ahead and click individually. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and see if what's going to happen when I... Uh, super, super tricky stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this one. Drag this over here so that we are working on the same level. And then what's going to happen? Okay, that's going to happen, of course. Uh, I think what we can do is we can actually... Okay, I think we can actually just... Um, like... Uh, do, uh, do subtractive thing as opposed to like additive if that makes any sense so i'm gonna actually just go ahead and do this one and kind of base off of like the measurements or something okay it looks like it worked on this side actually yep it worked on this side so we'll see okay and then over here like that as well Okay, and for some reason it didn't work over here, so okay, let's do that. Yay! Okay, that's that's kind of fine for me. I really don't I really don't mind that. It is a pointed arch. And if you actually yeah, it's it's pointed. It's a pointed arch. It's basically like a triangle. But if you actually look at the pictures over here, uh Okay, this this picture literally like loads really really slowly, but if you actually look at the picture over here, it is a pointed arch on this side. Unfortunately, though, on the other side, it is kind of like a semicircular arch. But what what do we what what do we do? You know, it's we don't have much of a choice anyway. And so far, it's looking really really good. So so yay. The only thing that I can see might be a problem is how are we gonna remove these um uh yeah those <laughs> these pieces of earth or ground pieces i think we can do uh remove these ones for now and then we can turn off the constraint floor elevation sheets and actually turn it on uh okay actually let's get rid of all these floors if we can, like that. And also on the other side as well. <laughs> Oopsie, come on. There we go. Oopsie. Okay, whatever. It works. And can we put floors underwater? That would be really cool. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Can we? I'm not sure. Let's let's see here. I don't yeah, we can't, so we need to be careful. Okay, we need to grab that, just the three tiles like that, and then turn off the constraint floor elevation, or turn it on actually so that it doesn't mess up our game. So yeah, if you guys notice that constraint floor elevation cheat gives you a lot of like possibilities, but it's also a very like risky cheat to use. Because there's a chance that you will literally ruin your house. So one advice for me is just really, really be careful and, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, so far so good. Everything works like a charm. I'm actually quite happy 
I guess. These piers, I think, literally, I th that's the best we can do for the archways, you guys. As much as I would want them to look like legit archways. I think that's the best that can happen. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure what else we can do. Hmm. But yeah, okay, I might have to think about that. Okay, let's actually control Z here really quickly. Because uh, we still need to uh, archify. <laughs> Is that even a term? I We still need to do some arches over here on the side. Like, uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and do that exact same thing that we did on the other side. Hopefully, it's going to let us do it as well. Okay, oopsie. Totally forgot that we have constraints floor elevation off. So when you turn the constraint floor elevation cheat off, it actually disables like all the physics that has um that has to do with your structure. So you're literally free to do whatever you want, make all these crazy shapes with your building and stuff like that. But like I said, um there's a huge chance that the game will glitch out if you're not doing it properly, so uh, but there's like a lot of tutorials online anyway on control constraint floor elevation So you guys don't have to worry about it if you guys want me to do something like that actually I'm really really glad to do so when I have time Because time is not, is a luxury that I do not have on my side Literally, I do not ain't nobody got time for that Leo ain't got time for that. But anyway, let's go and ahead and do that and then let's copy. I feel like if I turned on the, the reflection, this is going to look absolutely like brilliant. Uh, okay. And then um, so far, it looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with how it's looking so far. I only wish that we can do something with these archways. Uh, let's see here. Let's try to increase it by just one click. Oopsie, that's... Yeah. That, that was a click down. I, I was talking about like a click up. Okay, and see what we can do with that. And let's do that. Okay, and actually see if what's going to happen. Uh, let's see here. Once again, we are... <laughs> we're just pretty much trying to work out everything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but okay. I feel like that's a little bit better. What do you guys think? Um, it looks like a really awkward archway though. So I, you know what? Let's just revert back to the original one. I feel like that's kind of better. Okay, let's go for that. And then I guess that's it for all the archways. Um, surprisingly, they look really cool. Um, I'm really, really proud of them. I wish we can... Yeah, I think we can actually replace these um, if we hated them. Uh, but let's try to make the archways a little bit more graceful. Uh, see if what's gonna happen when we just do, like, an individual click. Uh, like that. I feel like it's gonna increase. Yep, it's actually, it, it's not so bad. Okay. It's actually isn't so bad. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and click individually and, um... Probably we're not it's gonna it's not gonna be as un as uniform as we have our other arches, but I think this is what's gonna make it like look super um elegant and stuff. Cause right now it just looks like ugh, you know. <laughs> and I I <laughs> I love how I don't even have like the words to describe it. I just said ugh. Okay, that is not even the same equal height. Okay, one two three okay okay nope super difficult to get things right okay actually you know what let us actually do this instead i feel like that will work for us god this is so freaking difficult to get things right okay okay once again that is not uh okay come on come on game Literally, I have to do this all throughout, like, the five arches that we have. Like, how fun is that? Uh, but that's actually quite nice. What do you guys think? It's going to take some time, though. But you know what? In order to make the arch graceful, 
that's what we need to do. Okay, I think we have to click over here. Do you guys like have any special trick? I could not, because I cannot think of anything right now to like simplify our workload. But I guess the best things in life are the ones that you work hard for. <laughs> I don't even know I'm, where I'm getting these stupid quotes. I, well, I mean, they're not stupid, but I mean, seriously, they're kind of cheesy. Like, seriously, though. I am, like, the least updated person ever. But, yes, it did actually keep the gracefulness of our archway. Yay! So, I think I'm gonna force myself to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and force myself to do it, so. And then, okay. Okay, cool. Cool beans. One down, <laughs> three more to go. Okay. So where should we start actually? I think we should begin like over here. Awesome, looks like it's the right height. Just click, literally this is preci precision stuff you guys, like whoa. Actually, this is also based on how hard you're clicking your mouse. So like the softer or like the more minimal clicks you have, the better the outcome is going to be to what we want. Oh my gosh, like seriously, I should like, this is really, really tedious. I'm not even sure if you guys would want to see this, but it's, it's staying inside the video. I'm keeping it in. Why is it like, ugh, come on. Okay, there we go. Yay. Okay, that is two down, two to go. Whew, my gosh, my eyes are beginning to hurt. Okay, we, I guess we can actually like start over here. Oopsie. Uh, I love how the grid is there. I think the grid sh is it makes it easier for us to see like whether we're making a mistake or not. Because like I said, it is precision stuff. And the grid really, really helps out a lot. Okay, actually that one sped, we sped through that one really, really quickly. Uh, you know, you know, once you eventually get the hang of things, it's a little bit easier to do things, I guess. Okay, see, we did that wrong. Hopefully I'm not making any mistakes, because usually uh, these things, once, you, once you've done them, it's kind of impossible to fix them if you if you accidentally like if you if you get careless you know it's 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 gonna be impossible to fix them later on into the build series okay let's go ahead and flatten this whole thing bring it all in and also i want to do some minor adjustments with okay beautiful graceful archways awesome oh my god i'm so happy yay okay i want to do something about these pointed archways that we have and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and um, lower them a little bit by two tiles, maybe. Just because I feel like they're a little too severe. You know, they're a little too... Ugh. Yeah, literally, that's how I describe everything. Uh, but yeah, like I said, they're a little too um, intensely pointy. If you guys get what I mean, like I said, we're going for graceful here. The description of the Chateau de Chenonceau is that it is the Chateau of Women. Because it has, for centuries, it has served as the home for many important historical female figures. So, like I said, graceful is definitely a key word for us. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, smoothen things out. See how things work out. Uh, I think the most significant women who lived in the Chateau were definitely Diane de Poitiers and uh, Catherine de Medici. <laughs> I love how I'm saying their names in like a French accent. Ooh. Anywho. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know which king they were kind because that was like a, a love triangle between Diane de Poitiers, Catherine de Medici, and like I think it was King Francois the first or something. I don't I don't know. I am I'm not sure. Or maybe King Henry the something. I'm <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not like an expert in history. I just casually skim through history and you know if i find something interesting i'm gonna read on it probably get stuck on it and stuff like that but yeah i don't i don't know everything even i don't know everything so i just it, it just has a really interesting 
a story to it, the chateau. And by the way, I, I watched a documentary of this chateau way, 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 way back in the day, probably like the mid 2000s. And that was like when I was in grade school, actually. And that documentary included like some of Europe's most famous palaces, such as, um, oh my God, I need to fix that. Oopsie. Do I need to fix that? I might have to fix this because this looks like it's kind of, yeah. It's kind of like all over the place. Uh, yeah, I need to fix that because that's going to bother me in the future. Okay, let's go ahead and type in the constraint. Oh yeah, constraint floor elevation is, I turned it on. So let's turn it off once again and see if we can do something about that leveling crap that's happening downstairs. Like this, okay, make sure that everything's like properly leveled. Uh, you know, these things you couldn't even see normally, but it gives me some really, really good peace of mind when I see something resolved. If you guys got what I mean, you know, so every as much as possible, I try to resolve everything if, you know, if I can. I don't think I, I was able to do anything. I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, and once again, let us flatten this whole thing, bring everything in together. Bring it all in, I guess, as, as they should say, as other people would say. Oh my god, okay, there we go. And let's see if it was resolved. Okay. Okay, awesome. Looks like, yep, it looks actually, okay, awesome. Time to turn off this constraint floor elevation and then uh, turn it on, I mean. And then I think we can actually get rid of all the flooring that we have that's underwater. Because I don't think we need all these guides and stuff. I hope I won't regret this in the future, but I don't think we need all these guides anymore. So let's just go ahead and kill all of them off. Uh, yeah, but you guys can see that I'm very practical actually with my use of, you know, everything in the game. You know, as much as possible, I want to minimize like the lag and stuff because I myself don't have the best computer in the world. So, you know, even though I build these really, really complicated structures, as much as possible, I would want them to um, have as less negative impact to everyone's computer. Uh, but yes, the archways turned out really, really, really nice. I'm so happy. I'm just going to go ahead and check. Okay, this video, I think it has been long enough, you guys. So what I'm actually going to do is just go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Okay, guys, it took us forever to do these arches and all that stuff. But I think everything turned out really, really awesome. And I think what I'm actually going to do is also record the next part as well, just to have something for show. So you guys can expect the next part immediately after this one as well. So yeah, like I said, that is going to be it for this part. As usual, y'all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.